blood. Satan has no more authority over you. Satan can't hold you under no more bondage because you've been set free oh, yes. because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout for the blood. Come on. Go Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. When they place the blood. On the doorpost. Yeah. When that death angel was passing by in, in Hallelujah in Egypt, they went out there and applied that blood of that lamb, amen to God, on those doorposts. Yeah. He said, and when I see the blood, I'll pass by, amen to God. Yeah. He had to pass by every home that had the Come blood on. over it. Amen. I tell you today, when we apply the blood over our homes, over our wives, over our husbands, Come over on. our kids, amen Come to God, on. the devil has to walk on by Come because on. the blood's been applied. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Somebody ought to shout a little bit, amen. Hallelujah. We ought to praise God for that blood of Jesus. Amen. No matter how much Satan is trying to take it out. The Come blood on. will never be taken out, brother Billy. Come on. You can't Come have it unless you got yeah. the blood of Jesus, amen. Come on. God required for blood to be put on the altar, amen to God. He had to have a blood sacrifice. Yeah. The blood of a spotless lamb. Come on. Named Jesus, amen. I know we're in the time of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And we should be thankful not only just for the day. Amen to God. We ought to be thankful each and every day that Jesus did what he did in Calvary. Amen to God. We ought to thank him. Amen to God. No matter if we're having a good day or a bad day. Praise God. I'll tell you what. I praise God. Amen. Because of what he did for us at the cross. That's the true thanksgiving. That's the true meaning of thanksgiving. Is what Jesus did in Calvary. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, In everything give thanks. Come on. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you yeah. and me and for us all. Amen. Come on. Somebody said, well, I'm thankful because, praise God, the pilgrims and the Indians worked it out. Well, that's good and great. But I'm thankful for the blood. Come on. I'm thankful for his salvation, amen to God. Come on. I'm thankful he still saves. That's not a bumper sticker. That's Come true. On. Jesus still saves, amen to God. Yes. And in everything, give thanks. We need to give thanks. Amen. Praise God. Give thanks for that. Amen. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whatever we're going through, we should give thanks, amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. If I have to call this message or title. I want to use those first words in 1 Thessalonians. In everything give thanks. Come on. For this is the perfect will. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for your word. Amen, amen to God. Lord, we, thank we thank you for the blood. Amen. We Lord, thank you for what you did at the cross 2,000 years ago. Thank you, Lord God, that you've brought us together. That you've opened our eyes, dear God. Opened our spiritual ears to your word. Hallelujah. Father, I pray you'd let this word take its course today. Minister to those, Lord God, who's having a bad day. Who's going through a good day. Lord, just let your word, dear God, you promised it would not return void. And we just pray, Lord, you would touch those here today under the sound of my voice. Those, Lord God, through, hallelujah, the, the VOTL radio, through our CDs, through Facebook, YouTube, whatever avenue, dear God, touch Amen. them. May it bring life and peace to their minds, dear God. Those that are going through troubles, Lord, Lord, it's around the holiday season, dear God. Those who are, are depressed, dear God, where they want to end it all, dear God. We pray, Lord, let your word take free course. Amen. And bring peace to their life. And Lord God, help it to change their mind. And Lord, if they don't know you, Lord, let them open their heart's door to you today. For we ask it all in Jesus, Jesus' precious name. And everybody said amen. Amen. And amen. Give thanks. Hallelujah. How many remembers that, that song? I think Don Moen wrote it. It said, Give thanks with a grateful heart. Yeah. Give thanks. How, I forgot the next part, but to the Holy One, give thanks. Because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Hallelujah. That's what I'm thankful for today. I'm Come thankful on. to have a wife who loves me and Come children. On. I'm thankful to have a church family who loves me. Come but on. more importantly, I'm thankful today to Jesus that I'm alive and well, praise God. That I'm not six feet under in a hole, praise God. I'm thankful, hallelujah, for every opportunity, every chance He's given me. Like you said, Brother Come Billy, on. praise God, whether we have five or ten people here or a thousand, praise Come God, on. we still got to be the same way, Come amen on. to God. Hallelujah. And God will show up 
and perform, amen, to God if we're faithful, praise on, God. Amen. Because he's coming back for, hallelujah, the faithful, those that are abiding about his word, amen, Come to on. God. But you know, hallelujah, one thing that gets me is, hallelujah, to whom has been forgiven much, much is required, amen? Yeah. So hallelujah, I don't know, praise God, we've all done sin and we've all been forgiven and washed in the blood. And that's a reason to give thanks, amen, to God. Come on. we got another reason to give thanks. It's because we're not one of these countries, yeah. praise God, that's being killed for saying the name Jesus. Come on. Uh, we, we can give thanks that we can walk up and down the streets with our Bibles, praise God, and still read it openly. We can go to a park, amen to God, when it's nice outside and read the Word of God, that we can share the Word of God with those around us and we not get put in jail yet, amen to God. Come Persecution's on. coming on the church, but that's okay because God will be with us through it all, amen to God. Even when we're persecuted, give thanks, amen, for that's the perfect will. Have, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen? Yeah. we got to give thanks even in the hard times. Amen? Amen. I'll tell you, for us, praise God, hard times have been there. And I know y'all have been through them too. But I tell you, it's made us appreciate those little things. Amen to God. No, we may not be where we want to be right now, but praise God, we have a roof over our heads. My wife will tell you, praise God, I'm glad she's here so she can back me up on it. She tells me quite a bit, Mike, we've got to thank God for a roof over our head because sometimes I get discouraged. I get depressed about it. I get aggravated because when you once had something and you lost it, amen to God, it's like, oh, Lord Jesus. But she'll tell you, she says, Mike, we've got to give thanks. For the Come roof on. over our head. It may not be what we want, but it, thanks for it, amen to God. That we have a car to drive, amen to God. That we have shoes on our feet. That we Come have on. food to eat, praise God. Yeah. That we, amen to God, been blessed with jobs, amen to God. That we have family who loves us and not turn their back on us. Praise God. we got to give thanks in all these things. Hallelujah. So I'm glad she does that. She'll tell you I'm one tough cookie at times, amen to God. Come I'm on. as stubborn as a mule is, amen. And I'm yeah. working on that. Yeah, she said, come on, amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. But I'm being honest, praise God. I don't want to sit up here and portray myself as somebody who's arrived because I'm still going. I'm come still on. running the race. Oh, y'all don't want to help yeah. me, amen to God. Now. I tell you, we're all running a race today, yes. hallelujah to God. And one day we're going to reach that finish line, whether it be by the way of the grave, come or on. whether it be by the way of the rapture, praise come God. On. Hallelujah. I know we're going to all finish, and this course yes. is going to be done, and he's going to say, well done. Come How on. good and faithful servant. Well, hallelujah. hallelujah. Well done. That you kept on running, amen. On. God. You could have gave up along the way. You Come could have on. just sat down and said, Lord, I can't do this no more. But amen to God, when you got to the almost, I picked you up and I walked Come down on. with you. You gave me praise anyway. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's what we got to do today. Come on. Is praise him, amen to God. God uses things in our lives, amen to God. Sometimes we may not like it. But he uses things. God may be using adversity right now to get your attention. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. But see, we, we pray. And see, this is what gets me, Brother Billy. Because we'll pray, Lord, make me like you. Yeah. Let me be like you are. But then when we pray that and we send that prayer out, we don't want the results of what's coming back. Come on. Because the Lord says, okay, I'm going to put you on my potter's wheel. And I'm going to start the, pot, the, the process. Come I'm on. going to start molding out those things, those rough edges in your life. Amen. How many knows what I'm talking about? Praise God. Yeah. Those little areas in your life that need to be molded out. And he starts the process. Have you ever seen when they did pottery? Yeah. I mean, when they first start out, that old lump of clay is just yeah. ugly. Yeah. There ain't no form to it. There ain't no beauty to it. It's just Come a on. big old ugly piece of clay, you think, I don't want to give thanks for that. But when the potter starts working and he starts smoothing it out, he'll get a little bit of water, praise Come God. On, yeah. Hallelujah. How many knows we need some of that living water today? Amen Come God. On, he'll get some of that water and start molding it around. Yeah. Amen to God. And he'll say, well, it's not right where it's at, praise God, but it's a process. Amen to God. Come and on. you'll get where you're at. You climb the first step. Well, take another step. And you take another step. Come and he's on. like, I'm getting you there. Amen to God. Yeah. Give thanks. Give praise for that, praise Praise God. Because you may not be where I want you right now, but you're getting there. Come, Come on, on, somebody help me. Oh, yeah. say, Man, this is a preach if I can help you. Tell you all, Hallelujah. So he's working it out. 
He's working out those attitudes. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. He's working out those attitudes on Brother Mike. Come, Come on, on now. He's working out to make you have patience in your life. Come yeah. on now. Come I on. can't get nobody to help me. Come Praise on. God. And he's working. He's still doing it. He gets some more of that water. Woo! Go right. Put that water on there. Praise Woo. God. And in the end, you know what you find? You find a vessel that God has wow. formed. Hallelujah. He formed with his hands. Because we're always in his hands. Amen to God. He forms a vessel that he pours of himself into. Yeah. He pours, amen to God, into that vessel, praise God. Come on. That you can pour out yeah. to others. Come on. He pours into me to pour out to you, yeah. to pour out to those, amen to God, who may be around. Well, there ain't a whole lot of people on the ministry list, but praise God, there are people that I can pour out to come that on. He's put in my life, amen to God. Oh, come on now, don't come shout on. me down when I'm preaching good, amen to God. Come on. See, hallelujah, He may be using things to get your attention. Let me use one example. Remember Saul. Praise God. We call him Paul, amen to God. But before he was the apostle Paul, he was known as Saul. Acts chapter 9, verses 3 through 6 says, And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shone round about him a light from heaven. Somebody thank God for that light. Amen. Oh, amen. Thank God. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? That, that always gets me right there. Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Come on. And he trembled and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told to thee what thou must do. Praise God. See, God had to get his attention through that. Yeah. He had to knock him down. Praise God. Sometimes you got to get knocked down before yeah. you get back up. Amen to God. That'll preach. Amen to God. Amen. Sometimes you got to let the Lord knock you down. Or in the in the in the thing of the pottery, he's got to remold you and make you. Praise God. But when it's done, Brother Rodney, when it's done, it's a vessel that's been formed by the Lord. Come on. And you know there's no cracks in it then. Yeah. Because he'll pour that living water in there and you can pour it out. Oh, yeah. come on, somebody. Amen. Let's give thanks Amen. for that. Amen. Amen. I'm sure today if we could talk to the Apostle Paul, yeah. Paul would say, I give thanks to God, knock me down and open my eyes. Yeah. I give thanks today that I had to go through that in order to meet Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes, praise God. Hallelujah. God does things because He wants to better us. Amen? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Give thanks. Hallelujah. That's something to be thankful about today. Praise God. Amen. Go over to God. God wants us all to know that He is a faithful God, that He's a good God. Yeah. Praise God. He's not left us. He's not forsaken us. Come on. Hallelujah. I think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm sure the first thing on their mind when they got thrown in the fire of furnace maybe was not to give thanks, amen, to God. But we know the story, though. They was not going to bow down. They was not going to worship the God that was made. They was going to serve the God. Amen? Come on. Yeah. Praise God. And they were put in there. And, of course, we know the story that they, they said, we, we thought you only threw three men in there, but we see four. Who And the fourth guy is... One like unto the Son of Man. Come on. Oh, man. Come on now. Man, Jesus shows up in some times, don't He? Come on. He's always on time. He may not be on the time we want Him to be, but He's an on-time God. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Praise God. When we're going through trials, amen to God, God will make a way of deliverance. Yeah. He did it for the children of Israel. Amen. When they got up to the Red Sea, Hallelujah. They got up there and there was a scene. Here comes Pharaoh and his army. Come on. Now I'm sure at that moment the children of Israel did not want to give thanks to God. Because they're like, well, we might as well just give up and go back to Egypt. At least yeah. there we will be taken care of and we won't drown in the sea or die in the wilderness. Yeah. But Moses said, stand still. 
Come on. And see the salvation of God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah to God. See, in that, praise God, God showed up, showed off, and performed. Come on. And they walk through. See, so, sometimes I wonder, I, I, I've asked the Lord this before, Brother Billy. I said, Lord, why is it that we praise you when the miracle comes, but we can't praise you when it hasn't happened? Yeah. I mean, we get excited. Don't get me wrong. When God does something and heals your body or delivers you or, or brings money in when you need it or whatever, we get excited. But what about those times when... He doesn't do when we want him to do. Come on. See, we, we, we set God, we're like this, we're like, God, we, we, we want you to do this on this time and on this way, and if you don't do it like this, well, you know, it's just wrong and it's not in your will, but he's saying my will for you is to let you grow through yeah. this trial you're going through, through this persecution you're going through. You are becoming more and more like me in it, praise God. So in that, you ought to praise him. You know, we ought to thank him for praise God. What we don't what we don't think is right, but he knows is right, amen. See, his will, amen, to God is above ours. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to praise Him in His will. Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Y'all remember that? Where Jesus said He was in agony over yeah. what He was going to have to endure at the cross. Yeah. And it said His sweat was His great drops of blood. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. But He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Amen. He knew what was before Him. He knew to fulfill that which was spoken through, through the... Annals of time by the prophets. He knew, praise God, that this was God's will. And he knew to give thanks for it. Amen to God. Amen. So he got up. The Lord, amen to God, got him ready. And he went about to what he needed to do. And I'm so thankful today that he did, praise God. Yes, amen. Because I'm telling you, if Jesus hadn't done that, you say you keep going back to this, Brother Mike. Yes, I am, because... That is the main reason for Thanksgiving. That is the main reason, praise God, that we have a reason to shout and praise God today. Come on. And we take it for granted. Amen to God. It's not a story to me. It's reality. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. Praise God. Psalm 121 verses 1 through 2 says, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from where? The Lord. The Lord. Which made heaven and earth. Praise God. God ain't going to leave you out hanging to dry. He's going to be there. He's an on-time God. Amen. Come on. Praise God. You don't have to search no more because when He's there, He's going to take care of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in everything, give thanks. How many can just say, thank you, Jesus, this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're, we're breathing. We're alive and well. I got to thinking about that the other day. I was talking with some co-workers, Brother Billy, and... And a lady I work with, her husband had a stroke. And she was just talking about, well, he can't breathe as well as he did before. And he just has a hard time. Now I was thinking that morning, six years ago, how I couldn't get my breath. And how I valued that breath. And when I was able to breathe, Brother Billy, without a breathing tube, Come on. I just remembered. Yeah. How good it felt. Come on. And I thought about that for a moment. Oh, and then Jesus. after she he shot on my top. Glory oh, to God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought about that breath and I thought, thank you, Jesus, that I can breathe right now. Yeah. And then she made a comment. She said, He told her, I can't breathe like I was once was, but I can breathe. Yeah. Go on, God. Hallelujah. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. You can breathe, amen to God. Yeah. Because the breath of life has been given to you by Him. Woo. Amen. Man, hallelujah. I don't know if y'all get this or not, boy. Oh, I tell you, I just I'm thankful this morning, amen to God. Sometimes I get aggravated and get frustrated, but I'm still thankful. I hallelujah. I'm thankful my wife's here today with me. Thank praise you. God. I know sometimes she don't get to come with me. I'm thankful for this ministry. Praise God. Brother Billy, don't know how many times I've listened to those sermons. Amen to God. That has helped me. That has given me. Amen to God. Direction through the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm thankful for the music. Amen to God. Just for everything. I'm thankful. Hallelujah. I'm thankful just to get to share my testimony with folk. Oh, I told him at that church, Brother Billy, when I preached a few weeks back, I had a message to preach, and the, and the Lord said, give your testimony. And I'm like, Lord, okay. 
And I remember sharing it, and an older man got up at the end of the service and came to me, and he said, he said, I'm sorry. And I said, for what? He said, well, when you come in, I noticed she was limping a little bit, and he said, I thought well, there was another cripple going to get a disability check. And I thought, well, I thought, man, that's harsh. <laughs> he said, but when I heard you tell your testimony, he said, the Holy Ghost brought conviction on me. Amen. He said he brought conviction on me because he said, you know, I was down at one time. He said, I had a tree fall on me and flung there, crushed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, I know how good God is. Amen. And I said, well, praise God. God is faithful. He's good to us. Amen. Yes. Woo! My Lord. If it was not for the grace of God, where would we all be? Come on. Yes. See, we need to thank Him for the adversity we go through because He uses it to draw us near to Him. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. How many, how many knows, and praise God, when everything's going all right, you really don't call out to the Lord that much? Yeah. Come I mean, on. honestly. When life is good, when, life, when you're on the mountaintop, come on. You know, you don't, you don't think to call out upon the Lord that much, you know? Because everything's fine. You got a little money. You got the refrigerator working. The washer and dryer is working. Come the on. car's driving fine. Amen to God. But then when things start going out, that's when we run to Him. And I've often wondered, what would happen if the Lord just said, you know, I'm going to do to you what you do to me. Yeah. I would hate that. Because mm -hmm. Lord knows I would, whew, I'm Oh, help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. He just wants our fellowship. He wants our time. Amen? Come on. And I know, amen to God, that it gets rough in life. But He uses these things to draw us to Him. Amen? Yeah. The Bible says, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that, in, that He may exalt you in due time. Amen? Come on. Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. That's a good reason to give thanks. Yeah. For He cares for you. He loves you. He died for you. Yeah. Brother, don't worry about your voice. Come on. Because you know what? God has raised you up. And you know what? He may be giving you a better voice. Amen. Come on. Amen. Don't, worry, don't ever get embarrassed about it, brother. Because I still like to hear you sing. Amen Come to on. God. It's a blessing to me. <coughs> it's a blessing to those around because they said there was that little brother Tyler. Remember when he was remember when he was this high? Praising Jesus. Come on. And now his voice is different, but praise God, he's still doing it. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Don't you worry, brother. You keep on. Keep strong for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a very present help in time of trouble, he is. Amen. Amen. God will make a way. Yeah. But all he asks us to do is to praise him. Amen. Come on. To thank you. Brother Rodney. Keep praising Him, brother. God is Come good. On. He's faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 18, 6, In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of His temple, and my cry came before Him, even in His ears. Amen. Come on. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Yes. He'll bring us through. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So whatever you're going through today, know that you're going to go through. But through that, give thanks. Praise Him, amen to God. I know we're going to be sitting down with our families this coming week, amen to God. Let's not forget what the real reason is. It's Jesus, amen. Come on. It's Jesus. He's the reason yeah. for everything we have. He's the reason Come on. for the things we go through. He brings us through them, amen to God. Amen. He loves us. He takes care of us. Stand to your feet with me, praise God. I didn't have a whole lot this morning. I just wanted to share that simple thought. What the Lord laid upon me. It wasn't a deep John the Revelator revelation, but it, it was something that's true and profound for today because we need Amen. to give thanks. Yes. Yes. How, we need to give more thanks. We need to praise Him more than what we do. Come on. And I'm one to say it for me. Amen to God. That I need to praise Him more because He is faithful. Yes, He is. And I'm just thankful today, Amen to God, just to be able to tell the world, be able to tell. Everybody here, come on. That God is good. Amen. Father, we thank you today for your word. Thank you, Lord, for. Lord, we thank you.
just for all the things you've given to us, all the big things, the small things. Well, I just pray, Lord, you can be with us today as we depart. Be with us this upcoming week, Lord, as we get with our families and friends, Lord God. But help us, Lord, not to take for granted each and every day. For it's a gift you've blessed us with. Forgive us, Lord, in any way we failed you. Keep us under your blood, Lord God. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And bless those who aren't here as well. Lord, you know that they, they meant well. And we just pray that you would just bless them abundantly, Lord God. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen.